bitch press me a nigga. Yeah. 40 point neck, it's like a bow me a nigga. That's right. Deli, I'm sipping, but my new nigga rich. Hey, y'all. So today is Vlogmas Day 7. And as y'all see by the title today, I am finally giving y'all a dedicated video to my makeup routine. Because now my makeup routine has gotten to the point where it's long enough to make a dedicated video so i don't want to talk too much but everything i use in the video will be in the description and i'm no makeup artist and yeah so let's go and get on to the video so first thing i do is wash my face i usually always wash my face before i put makeup on like no matter what i always wash my face and moisturize and this is the moisturizer i use i'm using this lip mask the hydro lock overnight lip mask from spoiled child it works so good just something on my shirt already and i just put this on it's always something on my shirt let me just yeah and then i use this primer by tar is the base tape primer and with me i'm very acne prone like my skin is very acne prone so i don't put this all over my face especially because i don't put makeup all over my face main place i put makeup is under my eyes so that's where i put the primer under my eyes like eye cream I just like my skin to be very like moisturized before I do any makeup because one thing about me, my skin is dry because of the retinoid. I mean the retinoid that I use and it will show. Do the makeup. I like to cover up, you know, any scars I have and the concealer I use to do that is Tarte. I love Tarte concealer. And the shade 47S Tan Deep Sand. Basically just put this on any like scarring. Okay, so then I get my beauty blender. And I just blend it out. I feel like me doing this kind of works as a foundation because I don't use foundation. I only use concealer. So me doing this kind of honestly works as a foundation. I had filmed a makeup routine already and I did not like it. So if the thumbnail is different from how I look right now, then I mind it. Because I like that thumbnail a lot better than I'm probably going to like this thumbnail. So after I blend that out, then I go in with another concealer. This one is another Tarte concealer in the shade 35 in medium. And this is the one I use under my eyes. I like a brighter eye. If y'all see like red marks right here from my glasses, do not mind that. Okay, so the way I blend my under eye concealer out. Because I used to struggle with like having under eye creases. Like concealer creases. I basically like blend up. So as I'm like blending it, I'll blend up. And then I kind of make it like a straight line right there and then i'll just blend it out with my finger so it won't look like a dramatic line man i love tart concealer like i've tried a lot of other concealers but when i tell y'all tart concealer has probably been the best concealer ever especially like the base it's just so good in my opinion it's just sponsored me because i'm really acting like this is sponsored right now but it's really not And just like that, concealer is concealed, period. Okay, after that is done, if I see that like any dark spots are still kind of showing, I'll probably go over it just a little more. Not too much, because I don't want it to look cakey. And if they're not covered, I really honestly don't care that much, you know? Stay tuned also for a skincare routine because my skin might not look clear. But I tell y'all, my skin is clear. It's just a little scarring left. I'm going to show you how I clear my skin up for real, for real. You know, good and done. Now, let's move on to my eyebrows. So for my eyebrows, I'll usually get my eyebrows eyebrows threaded and not touch them at all but i haven't got my eyebrows done in i think about a month so i use a eyebrow brush basically y'all can see it simple eyebrow brush and i brush my eyebrows up where it's like this when i brush them up i also like smooth it out with my finger so I'll smooth the gel out some more. And then also, if you guys are worried that the eco is going to break your skin out, I say this all the time. If it doesn't break my skin out, it will not break your skin out. And if it has, I'm sorry. So yeah. So now to set my concealer, I probably should have done this before my eyebrows. I usually do. I just forgot. I use the Lori Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And for this, I use a different beauty blender than the other one. I use this one. I have just started using setting powder for real. And when I tell y'all, it's literally like, such a big difference like it's a big difference and then i just leave it there for a couple seconds while i do some other stuff to my face once i'm done eyebrows are done i usually i don't conceal my eyebrows no more i used to now i don't i kind of like the natural look of my eyebrows honestly so i don't do that no more i'm gonna go ahead and go in with my mascara this is my favorite mascara when i tell y'all i've been using this mascara i think this is like the only mascara i've probably ever used in my life and it works so good it's waterproof too i like waterproof. and i just put this on my bottom lashes and then for my lashes i'm gonna give y'all my mapping of my lashes so the mapping of my lashes usually it would be like 17 or 14 17 on the ends and 14 on the inner corners and then i'll usually ask for cat eye hybrid or cat eye wispy and yeah they're 
these are like i think like a week old so they're not as full as they usually would be but that's what i asked for if y'all wondering after i do my mascara now i'm gonna go ahead and brush off the powder quick tip so you see how like i really can't get into any corners of my eyes honestly because of like my nose ring and stuff i don't like touching nothing with my nose ring i will use a little brush like this to get the inner corner powder brushed out like that i've been wanting to try blush i'm gonna actually incorporate blush into my makeup routine right quick and see if it looks right hopefully it does because i'm kind of just playing around right now so okay so this is the love joy mineralized blush it's my mom's okay so now for the blush i usually don't use blush but i haven't seen a lot of blush on there and i'm gonna use it so oh my god that's actually kind of cute oh my god i didn't want that much <laughs> Okay, that's kind of cute. I kind of like that. I really hope it look good on camera because it look good in real life. Let's just hope it look good on camera. Okay, so I'm incorporating blush into my routine now too. So then after the blush, I'm going to go in with my highlighter. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter. And I just put this on my nose and then I just blend it like that. When I tell you my makeup routine is very simple, easy, and quick. And yeah, sometimes I would like to put a little bit on the inner corner of my eyes. I'm going to today because we're going all out. So, so. Make routine done and I'll go on to my lips. So for my lips, I use this eye pencil. You can get this eye pencil at the beauty supply store and I just line my lips. I don't line my lips too much, but just enough. And then I'll go in with this concealer and then I just put it on the inner like that and blend it. And then my favorite lip gloss, when I tell y'all, this is my favorite lip gloss. I love this lip gloss. Literally, not too glossy. It still moisturizes your lips. It, like, it tastes good if it actually get in your mouth. And it's one dollar at the beauty store. Like, literally. Okay, so that is the end of my makeup routine. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this video. And if you guys have any questions, don't be afraid to ask them. Y'all can even give me constructive criticism in the comments or, like, tips in the comments if y'all want to but i would like some tips if i need them you know but hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video again if you guys have any questions don't be afraid to ask them and this is my simple everyday makeup routine and i will see y'all at my next video happy vlogmas day seven and we are almost halfway there and i will see y'all my next video bye y'all